to is Michael from Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is on prepper fitness, and uh, here I am doing it. Just uh, figured I'd do a little bit of a talk while I'm doing my warm up. So um, I'm going to do some walking and running today. So I'll move it up a little bit, like some incline and some speed. So yeah, get a good workout here, walking. I'm just going to walk and I'm going to run today because uh, I just don't feel like I'm in the proper mindset to lift weights go heavy or anything like that because of all that's happened to my son Brandon lately. So I'm just going to try to burn off some stress and this is a great way to do it. So uh, prepper fitness, it's vital. It's uh, extremely vital. So mainly I'm talking at the beginner level. Um, most people that are intermediate or advanced um, in fitness don't need to hear what I have to say. So they know what to do. Um, so I'm talking to the very beginners here. Um, ideally, it's good to work out, you know, five to six days a week. But if you don't, if you can only manage, you know, two or three days a week at the beginning, that's fine. You just need to start. Starting is the biggest thing. Um, start with three days, maybe four a week, maybe every other day, um, at least a couple times a week. Uh, and I would say body weight exercises and cardio. Don't start off lifting weights. Don't start throwing around the, the iron, you know. You don't have to worry about somebody saying, you do even lift, bro? Don't worry about that. So, and don't worry about looking funny in the gym, having people look at you funny. Who cares what they think? Just go in there, do it, do the things. Um, if you guys want me to do, actually, no, I don't even need to do, like, you know, weightlifting instructional videos. There's so many out there. One of my favorites is Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X. Go to his channel, check out all his workout videos. He's awesome. I've learned some. I've learned things. What's cool about him is he teaches you all different kinds of ways how to hit muscle groups that you never even thought of. <laughs> he's, he's crazy. He's amazing. I love his videos. I've been working out for quite a while, and I still learn stuff from him all the time. A different way, different angle, different way to do an exercise, stuff like that. So check him out. Um, as a good source for fitness. Um, but yeah. So body weight. What is body weight? Body weight is things like push-ups, pull-ups, crunches, dips, squats lunges, calf raises, uh, stuff like that. So, and if you need to look up some of those things, just look up body weight exercise videos. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fitness guru. Uh, so, what is cardio? Cardio is things like running, walking, rocking, hiking, rowing, backpacking, biking, things like that. You know, they get your heart rate up. Now, you could do weights, cardio, or body weight exercises in a cardio. Um, set also because you can be doing them with some quick repetition with no rest in between them and in such an intensity where you get a cardio workout also. Um, that's what I predominantly do. I don't really, for a long time I didn't do any cardio. I got some cardio in my weights so but I was just predominantly going building weights because I wanted to get big. Um, now I'm more into functional fitness things. I want to be functionally fit. I want to be able to do the things post event, um, be strong, take care of my family. I don't necessarily want to be some big muscle bodybuilder dude, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. A lot of respect there. But, uh, yeah, so what are some of the benefits from exercise? Um, relieve stress. What's what I'm doing right now? i got so much stress in my life right now. Uh, reduce body fat. Build muscle. Uh, makes you stronger, more capable. Uh, helps you sleep better. And it actually, it's hard to believe, but it actually gives you more energy. If you work out, you'll feel better. You'll actually have more energy. Trust me. Um, that's another reason why I'm doing this. I'm exhausted. So I forced myself to come to the gym today, try to release some stress, and uh, give myself some more energy by working out. So, um, yeah, you'll feel better. You'll look better. You'll just you'll feel more in touch with your body. You'll feel more fluid. you just you just feel better. I mean, trust me. Um, so, yeah, in SHTF, everything's going to be more difficult. Everything's going to be more physical. So you're going to have to be able to do the things. Let me up my speed a little bit. It's up my incline, up to six, speed to three. Just getting a good, good you know, um, warm up in before I start my run. I'm going to run at a pretty steep incline, so I'm going to be getting it as hard, and I'm not going to be filming that part. Because I'm going to be sweating like crazy and going huffing and puffing and stuff. You guys don't want to see that. But, or maybe you do, but I'm not going to show it, so sorry. Um, yeah, the more fit you are, the better chance you have of survival the better chance you have of being um, able to do the things. Um, everything will be more physical demanding, I already said that. Um, also, when you're working out, don't expect perfection. I've always, I've always said that. Strive for it. 
um, expect excellence if you keep at it. Um, but um, failure is not an option. Don't fail. Keep it up. Just keep going. Don't quit. Uh, make it part of your lifestyle. That's the key. That's the trick to working out, working out consistently. Make it part of your lifestyle. And of course, the working out part, this part is only part of fitness. I have a, this is a totally different topic, is food and nutritional um, fitness. And that's a very, very, very important, important part of it. I'm not going to go into that right now, though. So, um, expect to have off days. If you have a day where you just feel like crap and you, don't, you just can't do it, skip it. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just skip that day, move on, continue the next day, or whenever your next scheduled day is. It doesn't even have to be the next day. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to start my, just a sec here, I forgot to start my workout on my Fitbit. Gotta track it, right, you know? Um, so yeah, okay, there we go. Um, I got some notes here in front of me too, just to help trigger my mind, because it's for a hike, you know, I haven't had much sleep lately. Um, yeah, don't give up, just pick off, pick up where you left off. Um, and make up that workout, or don't even worry about work, making up that workout. Make it less stressful on yourself. Just continue on to the next one. You'll always pick it up again. And once you make it part of your lifestyle, don't worry about a couple of missed workouts here and there in your past. It's no big deal. Just keep moving forward. Be positive. Uh, yeah, missed workouts aren't the end of the world. Who cares? I miss workouts. I love working out, you know, five days a week. But every other week, I have a uh, four-day work week instead of a five-day. So I take a three-day weekend. And if I have, because of a holiday, if I have a four-day weekend, then I take it off. It's okay. Sometimes I take four or five days off. Sometimes I take three, sometimes two, sometimes one. It doesn't matter, you know. Taking time off is great. It's body recovers. Um, don't push it too hard when you're starting off, too. If you push it too hard, you're going to be so sore that you won't want to work out. And you feel like crap. The trick to working out and starting is to start super slow, super lightweight. Like I said, body weight is best. And when you're done with your workout, in the very beginning, what, what I'm saying, is you should almost feel like you didn't do anything. Like, that was a waste of my time. Trust me. <laughs> you'll still feel it. Especially right off the bat, if you haven't worked out at all, you'll still feel it. But if you feel like you did something, like, oh, that was a good workout, you won't be able to walk or do anything else for a couple days. Don't do that. Don't push yourself. Because that'll just make it so you don't want to work out. It'll make it not fun. We want to make prepping fun, remember? All right, so look at this. Just talking to you guys, getting this exercise in. I'm already, my state of mind is already improving because, you know, it's, just, it's been tough lately. You guys know that. So, and I don't want to bring you down all the time with my issues. I want to lift you guys up, you know. Um, I know you don't mind. I know you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Um, you're there for me and my family. That's, you guys are wonderful. So anyway, um, stay positive. Um, keep it up till it's just a normal part of your life. That, that is the key. Um, consistency and just make it where, you know, going to the gym or jumping on your treadmill or going for a walk or rucking. It's just part of your life. You're just, that's just what you do. It's just natural. And you feel weird if you don't do it kind of thing, you know. Um, yeah, short workouts. It doesn't take much time. And working out is free. Body weight and cardio. Throw on your shoes and walk. Even if you don't have running shoes, who cares? Run. Walk. Throw on a backpack. I'm sure you have some kind of backpack or pack laying around. You can throw some rocks in or something like that. If you're a prepper, you should have your bug out bag. Throw your bug out bag on your walk, on your back. Just walk down the street, you know? Or if you live in a dangerous part of town, drive somewhere and walk in a park or something. I don't know. I don't know your situation. But make it fun. And if you can, involve your friends and your family. You know, your tribe, your team, your mag. Um, take your kids along. And encourage them to be part, you know, just to be part of their lives. Um, so... Yeah, I was thinking of some things here. So I was thinking about starting, starting off, start off with something like this. Um, like Monday, you would do um, like body weight exercises. Do like 10 push-ups, rest for 30 seconds. Basically, rest for like 30 seconds between each one of these exercises. Do 10 push-ups, 10 crunches. That's not a sit-up. That's where you just put your your hands here and you crunch up to your, you touch your elbows to your uh, legs, your thighs. That's a crunch, or you just put it up into the air, you just crunch towards the ceiling. Those are good because they're not about, they're not hard on your back. Um, then like d dips, do five dips. That's where you get behind between a thing like this and you lower yourself like that. So you're working, you're working your triceps here, that muscle. 
Um, and it's usually easy to find two bars, two bars on each side of this treadmill. I just do that. Um, you can do bench dips. Just the seat of a chair, put your feet out on the floor, put your arms behind you, and you know, lower yourself up and down like that on the chair. Easy. Um, then do, you know, after that, 10 more crunches. Then do 10 squats. Look up squats if you don't know what they are. I can't really show you here with the camera view and everything like that. It's just basically squatting down. You know, put your legs um, um, shoulder width apart and keep your back straight and lower yourself over your center of gravity. Don't lean forward, don't lean back. Um, just watch a video about how to squat safely. Um, arm circles, simple things like this, you know, and then like this. We used to do those all the time in dive school. We call them sun gods. Because anytime it got, uh, it got cloudy or it rained, and I went through in, like, uh, in Hawaii, so it rained almost every day. We'd have to sit there and do those things, you know, like this and like this and all, just keep going forward, backwards, um, until the sun came back out. <laughs> and we'd do them for hours sometimes. They didn't care. So uh, anyway, uh, arm circles, calf raises, that's just where you lift yourself up. You know, like use your calves. Pretty simple. And then repeat like two to three times. If you do it two times, that's only 14 minutes worth of workout right there. That's easy, you can do that. Um, and these are very beginner numbers. And if you can't do it, don't feel bad. Lower the number. Or if you can't do 10 push-ups, do knee push-ups at first to build up that strength. Um, if you do it three times, 21 minutes, of course. If you do it one time, it's seven minutes. Seven minutes every time through. So if you can do four times, it'll be 28 minutes. Yeah, that's under a half hour for four times through that. And you're, you're hitting most of the body group, you know, most of the body group, uh, body uh, parts and exercises. If you have bands or some kind of a free weights, you can do curls, you know, like this. Where you're right here, let me see if I can, you guys can see. Basically, you take your arms and you lift something like this, curling for your bicep muscle. Um, then, do the same, try, try doing that, that group, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or if your day of rest is Saturday, if your um, Sabbath day is Saturday, then switch it to Sunday. If Sunday's your Sabbath day, then work out Saturday. Um, please honor the Sabbath, though. If, that's, if, if, you're into that, if you're into that thing, that's your thing, please continue to honor the Sabbath. Um, if you don't, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not saying either or, you know. But those are your cardio days. So run, walk, rock, hike. Start off with just like 10 minutes. No big deal. Anybody can do 10 minutes. Or if you bike or row, do like 15 minutes maybe. Um, and then what you do is, you know, do that for two to three, maybe four weeks, and then increase your numbers by 50%. Um, and then do it, you know, do it again for, um, you know, two to three, four more weeks, and increase by 50%. Just keep doing that. Do that for, you know, say three months maybe. Then um, start switching up, learn about some other exercises. Because um, your muscles will get used to things like that. Like people that talk about like, oh, 100 push-ups a day for five months. Well, come on. It's not gonna do anything for you after the first maybe month because your body learns that it gets used to it. The trick to growing muscle, if that's your goal, is to continually shock it into different things and different feelings and different exercises. So doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over, all never changing up your routine, is not gonna give you the gains you want. Um, you may still burn calories, which is fine, you know, if that's your goal, if you just want to burn calories, build some strength and stuff like that. But if you really want to um, be successful, lose fat, build muscle, um, and be functionally fit to do the things uh, post-event, then you want to switch it up some. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically my kind of like quick little rundown on uh, prepper fitness. So, I'm going to bump this up to uh, eight incline and three and a half speed. Do a couple more minutes of walking, and then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to get it. So um, I'm going to uh, just you know do my last little bit of saying goodbye to you guys, and then I'm going to get on it. But uh, I love you guys, and uh, I'm blessed by you guys. Thanks for being here. I hope you guys uh, like the channel. If you like the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, um, do the things, comment below. You know. And also, keep me updated. Let me know how you're doing your workouts. Maybe do a video response if you want to about how it's going for you. Um, how I, if you feel better. Um, if it's done anything for you. Um, or, you know, maybe a positive, uplifting thing about making it part of your life. 
uh, your lifestyle. That'd be awesome. I'd love to hear that. Or and just or just make a comment. You know, or if you don't feel like making it public, email me asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com. You know, let me know how you're doing. I love interacting with you guys, and I'm so blessed by your thoughts and your prayers and people that have gone to go fund me and help this out and help Brandon out. So um, I love you guys and blessings to you and yours.